Hi guys, welcome back to my speed build Pure Honey. This is part two, and we are finishing the interior design in this part. This is the finished final part, so there's no more after this. Um, we're just working on the kitchen right now, which has exposed brick, which I really like. Let me just say which a lot, jeesh. <laughs> Anyways. I like this home because of the industrial feel it has going on and also it looks like a home that has been renovated on the outside. I don't know, I, I really like it. I like how it turned out. The real home that I based this off of has a loft bedroom, I think it is, or it's just a loft home. It's a two bedroom home and it has... I think one bathroom and maybe a powder room, but I couldn't, I didn't want to do it all in one. So I just put in one bath, one bedroom. And since we can't manipulate that much in Sims uh, by making loft attics, I just did the second bedroom in the house. And I think it turned out pretty well. Uh, I'm just a little sad that we can't do that in Sims yet. Of course, I could have made it a two-story and did a loft, but I didn't really want to mess up the outside of the home. Uh, of course, it's going to look like a two-story home from the outside, and in real life, that house does not look two-story. It's just the attic. So yeah, that kind of sucks, but you know, what can you do? We'll see what happens if Sims ever, you know, adds maybe a what would you say uh like a build pack or an architect pack that would be super cool that's a good idea but you know we'll see so um i really like i said i really like this kitchen there is only one counter space to cook on i know that kind of sucks sometimes but you only maybe have like one or two people living here so it's not a problem. <laughs> I mean, it's not like Sims can cook together, so only one person will be cooking. But if you wanted a second counter space, you could probably uh, remove the half counter on the end there and make it a full counter. Just a suggestion if you wanted to. You know, put an appliance there or anything. And speaking of appliances, I'm just gonna make a little wish list of which I kind of hope for in Sims. Um, so you know in real life they have those kitchen or you can get those kitchen carts that you can put your like microwave on or you can just generally cook on. That would be super cool if Sims did that because I mean I feel like there would be a way to mimic it. You could just like mimic it by taking uh, the counter space and making it you know, like whatever actions that are made into the counter space that makes the sim cook on the counter space, they could make it into, you know, something that looks like a, a kitchen cart that you can roll around or even like a storage unit. That would be neat too. <laughs> like at Ikea, they have a bunch of storage, uh, tables and you know like closets like expo exposed closets which is cool and that would be really neat if we had that in sims but i think i'm asking for a little too much to be honest <laughs> so we'll see it would be really nice to have um an ikea expansion pack again like we did in i think sims 2 or sims 3 i don't really remember i think it was sims 2 i'm pretty sure Correct me if I'm wrong. So yeah, I decided to do commentary in this part just because, uh, I don't know, I have time to talk, so. And let you know uh, what I wanted to say in the first part since I didn't really get to. And explain the whole house situation as in like it being loft, but I couldn't make it into one. <laughs> but uh, this bedroom's pretty cool. I, I would love to live in this bedroom, to be honest. 
like having a bedroom with an exposed brick would be really nice. And I uh, kind of manipulated into making this um, vanity area. I mean, of course they can't use it, but it looks really nice. I don't know. And I love that uh, star mirror. It's really cool. And I love how we have um, laundry baskets. I think that's what they're called in The Sims. And we don't have washer and dryer. I know people may complain and be like, ugh, we don't need washer and dryer. It's another thing to do in Sims. But that's exactly what I'm talking about. Like, I love having my Sims do things. Because you just run out of things to do with them and then, like, have them to do. And it's a game about life. And I guess you could just have, have them clean up their shit, <laughs> to be honest. But yeah, these curtains that came from the movie stuff pack, I'm in love with. Like, I love how they can just go with anything. Or most mostly anything. I just really, really, really like those. I'm glad they added that. I'm really pleased with most of the graphics with new items. It's really nice. Especially like the cast. Um, stuff it's pretty awesome like we have like glittery shimmery things now and it's just amazing we've never had that so that's pretty cool I love how that's like it looks like a Daft Punk poster kind of it looks like a poster we have actually <laughs> so that was just mainly like a black and white theme going on in the bedroom and I added that toilet paper. I don't know if I just added it. I, don't, I didn't see if I added it. Oh crap. But I see like a lot of other uh, simmers on YouTube always like sometimes forget toilet paper. And then I see people commenting and will be like raging over how you forgot stuff. And I'm just like, ugh. I always make sure I don't forget those things. I, I, I have this like OCD issue where no, like legit, I have OCD. <laughs> I have to like organize and make sure everything's like perfectly placed and make sure it's there. I don't know, it's just bad. <laughs> so I even like bring that into the game. And what else do we do? Putting a mat so they can quote, quote unquote wipe their feet. No, they don't do that. I love how they have been making these um, little actions where you're not really doing anything with them, but they're just, you know, doing something by themselves, moving, I, I guess like tapping their like leg. I don't know. It's I forgot what they do, but they do these little actions on their own, especially when they're sitting. I really like that. So that's cool. Um, what else? I really want to start a Let's Play. I'm not sure um, what I'm going to do yet, but I will let you know. All right, you can follow me on social media, and I like to keep up to date with any ideas I have going on, and I let people know what is on my mind and what is my next move with Sims. So follow me on those. They'll be linked in the description box below. And yeah. I don't know if you, anyone likes commentary or not. I see I see some videos without commentary, and yeah, I don't know. Just ask, uh, you know, just just ask. Yeah, ask me what you prefer. Let me know what you prefer. I I don't mind talking. I I've just run out of things to say sometimes, and I'm super awkward. <laughs> just an FYI. But uh, yeah. Um, good thing I didn't forget the trash can. I sometimes forget it, and then they just, like, dump the trash out on the floor outside. It sucks. And then you get those, like, um, trash plants. It's weird. And I decided to put some potted plants all over the place to, you know, make it more, what would you say, lively? Because... <laughs> It's made to look like the ground is worn. I don't know. Like, it was, like, worked on, but, you know, it's all dirt and people... I don't know. I don't know what I'm getting at, but, yeah. 
and the last part i skipped that um me doing the the dirt detail just because it takes forever and i know like people may not enjoy just watching it so and it's not really necessary just because it's just a little part and it doesn't take that long in real life but i don't know like in real life to play and do that it doesn't take that long but it just seems like forever when you're watching it but but yeah um putting these water drains in i think that's what they're called i always forget it <laughs> Oh, and this is, I don't know, was it my last house? I don't remember, but I think this is the first house I've actually put a fireplace in, to be honest. And I really like it. I've never had, like, my Sims used a fireplace, so that would be nice if I start a Let's Play in this house. Oh, and we're getting towards the end of this, I think. I moved that down because it looked a little awkward being too high up. And yeah, and I put this little light thing outside so they can see. I think that came with get together. But yeah, it looks cool. Testing it out and stuff, making sure it lights up the porch. What else are we doing? Oh, I forgot to fill in the dirt underneath those bushes. So we're just getting that done. Yeah. We are at the end of the build now. Good thing I didn't forget that, because that would have bugged me. <laughs> and I think now I just name it, or no, I put a rug, or this welcome rug, even though it doesn't say welcome outside. And then we're naming it. I will have this uploaded on my gallery. Uh, you can find my origin name in the description, and these are the screenshots. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you guys next time!